Hi, in this uh, video, I would like to show you how you can connect commerce tools with Contentful using a Contentful app uh, for commerce tools. Let's get started. So I'm going to look for commerce tools. So here is the app. And let's see, learn more. And it gives this is how it looks like. And we can look into the documentation side about this um, app. So it gives more information about how to install and some prerequisites, what has to be there. So we have to install on some overview. Like I have, do I have a Commerce Tools account? Yes, I do have a Commerce Tools account. My Commerce Tools account uh, is set. Uh, so I could use this Commerce Tools account. And I can also see what else required. Um, the content type for the field type should be short text. So let me create a content type. I have also a contentful um, uh, space. So I'm going to create a, a new content type for my commerce tools project. So I'm going to use a short form CT for commerce tools and a product I'll create and I'm going to add a field and as the requirement is it should have a short text so I'm going to have a name it's going to be short text so a product I can say armor stores product so Ideally, I should see the commerce tools reference, but for now it looks good. I confirm it. I'm going to save this. This looks good. Now, I think we are all set. So we have to install it. But before we install it, we have to create a API from the commerce tools. Uh, so for that, I'm going to go to the settings, uh, developer settings. This is where it's going to create um, the developer settings. I'm going to create a new uh, API client. I'm going to remove this after this demo. So for me, it's okay to present this um, uh, API key here. So we could just use it. So I'm going to say demo uh, CT app in Contentful. So I'm going to create this. I'm going to get my details. So I'm going to copy them. Uh, no, I think we are going to have to enter these things. Um, so now I think the next step is to install install the uh, commerce tool app in Contentful. So for that, I'm going to go to the apps section. I'm going to manage my apps. Under manage apps, I'm going to see there are some pre-installed uh, available apps. For that, I'm going to take here, I'm going to take Commerce Tools. I'm going to click on Install. I'm going to make the Authorize View and View Update and Authorize Access. So it's loading, it's installing. So once it's loaded, it offers me a configuration and Commerce Project Key, Commerce Tools Project Key, Client ID, client secret, API URL, all this information is available in my API client details. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste them here. Project key. I'm going to say a client ID. I'm going to secret. I'm going to remove this after the demo. So this is only for the demo purpose. Um, the secret key, I need an API URL. And I also need an auth URL. URL and commerce tools data locale. And you have to provide what's uh, supported in your project. So I assume we have an English. So for that, I'm going to do EN. You can check that. Um, okay. And you can go to the project settings. Um, you could see that there are three uh, languages are supported. English, German, Spanish. So I'm going to pick the EN. Uh, that's what you see here. 
and you see that assigned to fields uh, these are the content model and it's asking me which of these fields you want to map uh, to commerce tools so i've created this content model cd product and i want to also have a field with commerce tools product a short text and field type commerce tools product so i'm gonna select this it's a product and i'm gonna install this okay my app installation is successful now i can go here and i could see a cd product i don't have any cd product i'm gonna create a new cd product so i already see that there's an option for to select a product so i'm gonna click on this which opens up um, this model where i could search for a product uh, for that, let's see, to, to, in order to make sure we have products. Yes, uh, I have configured my Commerce Tools project to use a Sunrise uh, repository, which is a demo environment uh, rep data. So let's see, I get a product name. Let's see, I'm going to search for this. Uh, let's see if I'm going to get this search. I'm going to search here, search now. Yes, I get lots of variety. So I could go, if I want to know more information, I can press details. I can get more information about this. I can get variant. I could see an uh, image, another image. So I could see more details about this. And if I like it, I can just select this and I can connect this. Now my commerce tools uh, product is connected to my content. And sometimes if you, it's not working for the first time, you also have to make sure that your API endpoints are active. You have to make sure that your index status should be indexed so that it's ready for uh, product projection search. So you can make it as query and you can use your product um, so you can also change this uh, let's say we want to make this to a shoe search now so you can select this for details to check it out or you can just select it here and select that selects the shoes and you can publish this and now you could just reload it again just to see if it if it works um, yes it points to the uh, product information and you can always check it out the more details about this product on the commerce tools more details about it uh, of course you have to log in um, you have to log in with the account and uh, in order to see it uh, but you have to search for it um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. What I would like wanted to show uh, about um, Commerce Tools uh, app on Contentful. Hopefully, it gives some thoughts and ideas. Uh, let me know if you got any feedback or any suggestions. Uh, thank you.